Hello and welcome to Kettrick Farms. We're here with a, another episode of the Minnesota Millennial Farmer Map. Before we jump into this episode though, I'm going to cut out to the desktop here and geek out for just a moment. So I was pleasantly surprised this morning to find that I've actually got comments on not one, but two of my videos by the Millennial Farmer himself. So I'm very humbled and uh, uh, honestly a little bit of geeking out about uh, the fact that I actually got some comments from him. So that uh, was super exciting and uh, uh, was a really pleasant surprise this morning. So I'm having a lot of fun on the map and can't wait to try out a lot more of the uh, fields and different areas and I've had a lot of uh, requests from uh, all of you to try out some of the different animals and things and I actually came to the realization that I have not gotten all of the achievements in Farming Simulator 19. Somehow I have logged more than a thousand hours in this game and have forgotten to ever do chickens or sheep um, and you know I don't know that those are always the most interesting animals but we're gonna definitely hit those at some point here um, but we're also gonna probably do some pigs uh, because I did actually work on a hog farm for a while when I was in Minnesota and uh, we'll probably also do some cows at some point here so we made a couple of small changes to equipment and I just wanted to walk over those before we get started here so first off this is the 9870 we've been running um, I did change out the grain tank kind of by accident uh, at the shop and so I'm gonna leave it there and we do have the upgraded pipe on there I think I did that last video and then because this is such a big field and we're gonna need some help I decided I really like to try out the 9860 as well um, so I picked up one of those and configured it fairly similarly uh, but if we just jump in and take a look at the cab uh, you can see it's got the older style uh, controls up in the top center there the older style uh, readouts and things on the pillar. Uh, and if we jump over here into the 9870 and go in cab, uh, you can see, at least on the top, it's a, a more modern control center up there and some small differences. So um, that attention to detail is pretty cool. And another big surprise that we have today is there was an upgrade to the course play mod and we're going to be able to try out the new overload mode um, and I say new but uh, mode 3 returns to course play and so I think that uh, because I know course play has some issues with articulated tractors or at least it has for me um, we're gonna switch over and put the 9RT on this uh, because I think that's gonna work a little bit better with course play and so that brings me to the final addition to this episode which is we have added manual attach back in to our game um, to add just a smidgen more um, realism, I guess. But also just because I play a lot of uh, farm sim network uh, multiplayer and I can't stop uh, jumping out to try and uh, connect and disconnect my attachments. And so it'll be a little bit less confusing uh, if uh, we just put manual attach back in. So hopefully it works. And we don't run into any issues, um, but we are going to switch over to the 9RT for the grain cart for this next field. And so we're just going to get that all hooked up there, fancy smancy. And pull this on out behind our combines. And then what we're going to do is we're going to set up a course play course uh, starting with the combines and get them going on this field field and hopefully not run into too many problems and so I've already hooked the headers up here um, this is another cool thing about this mod and this is why I wanted to try both of these um, SID modding combines just to see that you know they both work pretty well the attention to detail though um, the headers have all of the hookups for manual attach as well uh, it, it just everything works nice I love it absolutely love it so we're gonna go ahead and jump in here though and go up onto the edge of the field and i have to apologize in advance once again 
The number of comments uh, from uh, everybody on the videos has been just overwhelming and greatly appreciated because I keep learning things. And so to whoever shouted out in one of my comments that I can just click on the field to select it uh, for course play, oh, thank you so much. I was so tired of uh, clicking through everything. Um, and so I'm going to do a headland pass here. I'm going to say multiple tools uh, because we have two combines. And I think think that should be enough. I think two headlands should be enough to turn around um, a combine. These things turn around pretty good. And if I generate this course, we can see this looks pretty good to me. And so this driver, if I can remember how to configure course play, is going to be the... Um, where'd it go? One of these I select. Is it here? No over here. I'm going to be the driver on the left because I want to open this up the right way. And I'm actually going to turn this on and just clean out the starting area slightly before we get started. Avoid fruit, turn on field. I think all these defaults are good enough. For as much as I've used course play, um, it feels like it changes pretty regularly, uh, and I have not kept up on all of the different features, so I am just going to let this run at the defaults, and I am going to find my mouse here. We're going to start at the first point, and our speeds look good, and so here's hoping. Close that window out, or first, yeah, two hours it's going to take to do this field, even with two um, combines going. So I'm going to let him get a few feet ahead here, and he seems to be doing a bang-up job around the edge here. So let's go ahead and get this other one started. Whoa, stepping in the water. And I think once I get both of those going, I will start setting up the semis, uh, or the semi. Uh, I still need to buy another one of those at some point. Um, this is the course. We're going to copy this course. We're going to say I am the guy on the right. And then I think we should be able to just get him going. We want the first waypoint. And, uh, yeah, I don't think we're going to have to do anything else special for this guy. I think we're just going to slap him in here and say, giddy up. You going to put your header down, please? Okay. Close enough. And you had all of the same settings somewhere in here. Yep, that looked good. Okay. And now, I think what we're going to do, I'm trying to think of where I want to unload the auger wagon. Um, let's jump over and grab our semi. And I don't think there's any answer for double bin unloading yet in course play, but I haven't checked yet. If that's a thing uh, that somebody knows of, please let me know because that would be amazing. Um, I'm trying to think. What's where are we gonna be best to load? I mean, I guess ideally it would be in the field, but we haven't cleared enough of that yet. Maybe I will. I think I could probably just back the semi in in the future. I'm gonna whip this around. No, don't hit the tree. We're just gonna put this like right in here along the grass. And then at least I'll know where my truck should be. And if I do that, I can create a course play course with this here auger wagon in theory. Um, but before I do that, I think I need to babysit these combines around the field once. Um, so we're going to run this manually and just kind of see what's going on, make sure that they get around 
Uh, because my experience, course play doesn't really work so well uh, on the outside rows. Once they get going up and down the field, I think we'll uh, be a lot better off. And I just realized I forgot to set up um, convoy mode. So let's just double check that I've got that configured. Um, vehicle convoy activated. Stay at least 100 meters away. And I think I have to do the same thing in the other one, even though he's in the front. And of course he's going to get full. Vehicle convoy activated. And this is one thing that they added to course play. Now because he's on the outside row and there's a lot of grass over there, it doesn't really matter. But I believe he's going to back up and then cut in so that there's enough room for the green cart to pull up next to him, which is just amazing. Um, this is something that um, didn't exist in prior versions. Now he misses a little bit when he does that, but um, it's just awesome. Like, they didn't used to do that. So now I'm going to wait here and just make sure that this other combine, yep, he's going to wait back there for us. So we've got everything set up the way that we want it. And what I'm going to do is just run down here and unload these guys manually. We're going to follow them around the field. And once we get all the way around the field once, then we will set up a course play uh, course for the grain cart. And then we can go right around in which other, whichever vehicle we uh, feel like checking out. All right, so he's unloaded and already starting up to get back to harvesting here. I'm kind of curious what he's about to do. Uh, looks like he's going to pull on over. Okay. See, so that's pretty cool uh, because it gives me room to come up if, if we're cutting through the field or, you know, depending on which way he's going, I'm going to be able to come in behind him and unload, so... Um, I like that a lot, especially for these big, long fields. Like, there's no way he's going to make it to the end uh, of the field each time. So, very, very cool. Um, although we do end up missing little bits like that, but that's okay. So we're going to unload this guy. Oops. control set a little bit off and of course he's gonna stop because that guy's on the corner that makes sense all right well this is working out pretty well um, these upgraded pipes do unload a little bit faster which is nice I'm probably going to speed up here and not unload around the corner. Um, let's catch up to this guy in the front and see how his uh, tank is doing. Um, like I said, my goal is to just get around the outside here and then uh, set up a course plate course for this cart, which will be nice. Um, this is good, though. I've got this nice little grass patch over here so I can at least run the grain cart along him down the end here. And I do like that there's cars on the highway in the distance. That's pretty cool. Um, they don't just disappear as soon as they get to a certain point. I mean, you know, it actually looks like there's traffic out there. That's pretty sweet. Um, the texture here is not bad um, for map edge. It's interesting. Alright, are we about empty? We are. We're going to let you go. We're going to let your buddy catch up here and cut in and unload him a bit before he gets too full. And I'm kind of curious to see how far down the field he's going to make it now. Um, and at what point he gets full. Um, I'm just going to kind of wonder if I'm going to be able to keep up because it's a long way back to the farm, although I guess they're going to start 
um, from the inside and work their way towards out here so it'll be easier at least at first and by the time uh, I'm having to drive across the field uh, I'll be able to go straight across the field because uh, it'll all be harvested I'm pretty sure so we'll see how that goes And uh, make it all the way around with that first uh, grain cart but uh, we're yielding corn a little bit better than I anticipated and we have had a couple of small issues with uh, course play when the harvesters stop I think it might be because they're so close it might be because they're on the outside edge um, not quite sure yet so um, we've been just trying to figure out what's going on with that um, but I'm hoping to see that things uh, settle down here a little bit as we get going on to the uh, core part and so I might extend the uh, what do you call it the convoy distance a little bit on this back combine just to make sure that we're keeping him away from uh, the other combine here so with that, I'm going to get him out of the way, so this should give me enough room to set up the course play course the way that I want it. And so I'm just going to back you down the river here a little bit. I think that what I'm looking for is a course that starts about here. And if we come in here, we go to convoy mode, and we're going to start recording. And we're going to come in here. And I think that this is the wait point. So we're going to set wait point right out there and then we're gonna just whip back around here I should have probably let the guy go straight forward a little bit before I did that but and then I'm just gonna come right here and set the stop point and with that I think what I can do is hit drive course and he's gonna find search for combine on field three I don't know what that is but he's gonna handle both of those combines I'm really not sure what his problem is so I'm going to tell him to just do his thing and maybe he'll figure it out on his own in the meantime we're going to give him that chance, and while we do that, we're going to unload our semi because either way we need some room for some corn. And if that doesn't work, we're going to go back to doing it manual. So let's drive over like a maniac, apparently. Back it up, back it up. 
We're just going to dump this in here real quick like. I'm really hoping he figures this out while we're gone. It'd be nice to come back and just see that he's uh, got it under control. And if I look here, we're going to load the wet silo. And we're going to hop in here and start dumping. And I think we are not unloading that semi or that combine yet because he's still sitting there saying he needs to be unloaded. I'm really kind of curious to see what state we're going to come back to that 9RT in. Like, is he just going to be stuck somewhere or what's going on? Nobody knows. This is what we love about course play. It's just a surprise. It's like one of those mods that is awesome and frustrating at the same time. Um, so he's waiting. But he did not put his pipe out on his own. Oh, but he is going to put his pipe out. Look at that. Fancy smancy. So I'm curious if he's going to figure this out then once he gets going. Maybe he just needed to be empty to start with. Um, I don't know. Inquiring minds want to know. What is going on? Is he going to figure it out? That's what we want to know. You can do it. He's not stopping. I don't remember how far out into the field I drove. Is he going to do it? Hey, buddy. Are you going to do it? He is not going to do it. Alright. We are going to just tell him to go do this one. I'm kind of curious if he can handle doing two. We're going to let him unload the one first and then see what happens, but... I really want to know what's going to happen <laughs> uh, once he unloads this one. Like, what's he going to do? Is he just going to sit here and wait and be out of the way? Or is he going to try and turn around in the crops and get in the way of the other guy? So it feels like he's just going to be in the way right here. I mean, he's sort of stopping. It says target. That's fascinating. Okay. Well, I guess we just wait while he unloads and then we figure out what's going to happen. This is more automatic than I was anticipating though. I mean, he at least made it to a combine on his own. So I kind of want to see what happens once this guy's out of the way. This guy's going to get going again. Look, I kind of want to click this other checkbox and see if he's going to go unload this guy. Oh, look at that, he is. I'm going to bump my turn speed up and my reversing speed up, I think. Yes. This might just work. So we're unloading here. We're going pretty slow, but I think that's just because that's what the Combine's doing. Uh, because he's so close to the other guy in front of him. There he's speeding back up. So he's gonna... Keep unloading here until the end. He's going to let the Combine do his thing. Yes. And if I look here, he's got nothing to do because both of these guys are 
still doing their thing. So if I come look up at this guy, once he gets to 50%, in theory, the grain cart should come for him. So I think we should just stick over here and see what happens. He's only at 37% right now.
All right, we're having a little bit of issues trying to get the uh, auger wagon working here, so I think we're going to just run this manually for the time being uh, because that way we can keep the combines moving. We're wasting a lot of time uh, with everything stopped so often. And so we will continue to play with this, but uh, uh, it's just not quite picking up the combines and coming out here. And like it, in the past, it would run behind the combine until it was needed and then uh, pull up alongside uh, in a situation like this. So we're going to just take over. And man, are we cranking through a lot of corn. We are definitely going to struggle to store all of this, I think, if we're uh, pulling in a full auger wagon per pass. Bam. So much corn. Whoopsies. Wasn't expecting him to stop just there. All right. Go, go, go. So much corn. I love it. And let's see if I can turn in this tight. No, no, we cannot. All right. I just want to unload this guy on his way down. Oh, squeeze in there. Don't. Oh, I'm running over corn. Running over the corn. We're at 85%, but uh, we should have enough to uh, take some off of this guy, go dump in the um, other bin of the semi, and then get back out here. I think also given the um, amount of time we're going to spend moving the semi back and forth, that we might just park it over the... Uh, grain silo and just drive this up into the yard and dump directly in. I don't know. Realistically, I probably wouldn't do that because it's going to rip the yard up quite a bit. I'm just trying to think about from a Farm Sim 19 perspective what's going to work out the best. To be honest, I probably wouldn't be unloading up in the yard like this in general. I would have pulled the semi down here onto the edge of the field. Uh, we'll give it a shot. Let's see. That looks good. My concern is, is that with how much time it's going to take me to unload here, I'm going to need to rush back out there and unload both of those combines already. And I won't ever have time to uh, move the truck. We need help. I guess I could set up a course for the truck. And then set it to pause when it gets to the unfill point. And then I can unload both and then continue. That might work. Alright, let's get these unloaded first, and then I will rush back and see what we can do to set up a course for the truck before we run out of time. Unfortunately, I won't catch the lead combine here before, so he's going to get full pretty quick on the way back. Um, that's okay, we'll grab this guy here. And... We'll actually just park this guy, I think, and go set up the course for the truck. Yeah, that's going to make the most sense, I think. Although the fact that that guy's going so far down there, oh, it's because it's a cur the end rows are angled. 
was going to say, I could have caught up with him and emptied him along this part before he turned around, but uh, it's too late now. I didn't notice. Alright, I think this guy is pretty much empty, so I'm just going to leave this parked right over here. Hopefully not in the way. We're going to go grab this here uh, truck. And we're going to set up a normal unload course. And I think we are going to drive him down into the field. And the unload course is going to go from right here. Start. And we're just going to drive him right on up there. Bum, bum, bum. We're going to try and cut in here as straight as possible possible because this is super straight and then this is a weight point and that's a weight point because there is no trigger here until I get out and make it a trigger and so I want him to have to stop on his own. I think this is gonna work. It's been a while. And at least that lead combine's still going in the background there. And then I'm just unloading these bushels real quick. And um at that point, we just need to drive it back out in the field and line it back up with that first uh, start point again. So we're going to do that. And I should have gone a little bit straighter out of that part, that weight point, but we're going to avoid our own. Oh, we should have avoided that a little bit better. Oh, well. Then we're just going to follow the same turn. Nice hairpin turn. And hit stop. Start at first waypoint. Drive. And stop for a second. Alright, so let's set up this. This is corn. And all of those things look fine. All of these things look fine. Um, stop at next point or trigger drive course okay so he seems fine let's go grab our auger wagon and see how this is going to work out I'm really hoping he's going to stop at that white point and we'll be good to go if he doesn't We'll address that when the time comes. Um, I don't actually have enough corn to fill the combine or the semi. I don't think so. Let's run down here and unload one of these combines. It looks like the lead combine's pulling over right now again. So we'll go ahead and grab that corn and get these guys moving again. All right, we have a full load of corn here. So let's run over here and see if uh, we've got this semi course set up correctly. Uh, because this is going to hopefully make our lives a little bit easier so that all we have to do is jump over into the semi uh, when it gets back to the grain bins and turn them on. If not, um, I'm not sure what we're going to do. <laughs> We'll find out. We'll cross that bridge when we come there. I'm going to run over here. I'm going to unload these guys while he's driving over there, and then we'll go check on him. Um, that'll keep them going for a little bit longer here, hopefully. All right, we've got those guys unloaded. Let's actually just jump over here 
and see what we can do to... Hmm. He is way further up than I was hoping he would be for this uh, unload point. Well, let's go ahead and get the bins going. No more capacity for corn. Oh, that's a problem. Hi. What's your button? You're gonna be... Hang on. This finish? Okay, that's finished now. We're gonna do five. And then... Nope, wrong enter vehicle. We're gonna do R. Enter out. There we go. Alright. So, here's another problem. I don't know if I can load the wet silo while this is going on. But we're gonna try it. Let's try and break it. Alright. It appears to be working. And so if I come in here, I'm loading the wet silo faster than I'm drying corn, which is cool and accurate. And we're gonna go to the back. We're gonna keep doing it. And yeah, I'm gonna catch up here. That'll be cool. 200, 300. Oh no, not quite catching up. All right, well that is super cool. Um, and if I just say drive course, is this guy gonna just get back out here into the field to the right spot? That's gonna be cool. All right, so this is a little bit more manual than I was hoping for. Um, but we're getting it figured out and it's really cool that I can run the dryer and the pits at the same time. I was honestly kind of questioning if that was going to work. But everything seems to be working easy peasy with the uh, grain leg. Um, I think it's just uh, really wishing that I understood how mode 3 was working or not working here in the latest version of course play. So we're going to have to continue playing with this. All right, so this has been fun with course play part one. Uh, we made it maybe a third of the way through this field. Um, and so I think that uh, at this point we're sort of giving up on uh, using course play for the auger wagons because it's just working a little wonky still. Um, partly because of the auger wagons and partly, um, I think horseplay is just, uh, um, still needing a little bit of work in this area. So, either way, we got a good chunk of our field harvested, and, uh, I'm really looking forward to finishing this field out from a harvest perspective. And I think next episode, while we let some of this go on behind the scenes, uh, we'll get started on some fall tillage and stuff. And then we're going to look into picking our next um, fun thing, which will be animals. So uh, please leave a comment below uh, with uh, what kind of animals you think we should do. Um, I definitely need to do uh, chickens and sheep at some point, uh, and I really want to do hogs on this map uh, because I did actually work on a hog farm in uh, Minnesota when I was growing up, and uh, you know cows are also pretty fun, especially in seasons. I haven't done anything with um, just beef cows yet, so that could be a really fun uh, thing for us to try out as well. So uh, with that. Um, thanks for watching. That's all for today. Kederk.